Hi, Neil here from Riff Review. Welcome back. This is part two. We're going to look at the nuts and bolts of Pictures of Mastic Men, which was a hit in America for Status Quo in 1968. Written by Francis Rossi, who's their lead singer. Uh, he liked Hey Joe by Jimi Hendrix, so he was inspired by that. He used a similar chord sequence. And it's a great song. Still a cool song, even though it's an older one, but still played a lot in America on their FM playlists. So we're going to the do it sequentially. Um, it starts off with guitar on its own doing that riff, which is around, even though the guitar's on its own, it's based on the chord sequence of D, F, C, G, back to D. Now, if you were playing guitar behind the lead thing, which is guitar, which is on its own, that riff, you'd st then stay on D. That's the run-up. But uh, if you're singing, you just do the sequence. You keep repeating the sequence of D, F, C, G. the verses which is three verses then it goes into the chorus so those chords um, would be a backdrop if the guitar wasn't on its own for this riff which starts on the B string 15th fret to the 11th fret to the 17th fret back to the 15th fret and a, and a run up from the 13th so B string second string 13th fret Fifteen, thirteen, seventeen, fifteen, then thirteen up to fifteen. And the backdrop would be those chords. So then we go into the uh, the verse. The verse is the same chords, D, F, C, G. But you keep repeating them. Until we get to the first chorus, uh, before we get there, the music stops on the D, and there's another riff. Which is D, uh, B string again, 12, 13, 12, 13. Uh, to 10. Twelve, thirteen, twelve, thirteen, ten, and then into the G. Pictures of matchstick men and you. Mirages of matchstick men and you. All I ever see is them and you. Now there's a stop coming out of the chorus. So that is on D. B string again, seventh fret, eighth, back to seven. Uh, G string, ninth fret, B string, seventh fret. And it's hammered on really, so you, you can play all the notes but it's hard work, so hammer it on. So hammer on, hammer off. If you do it with a bit of force, it makes the, the, the string ring out a bit. 
So that's the end of the chorus. You've got that uh, stop and that thing, that little riff there. Uh, the slightly different bit, they go, Francis Rossi wrote this, the middle eight. He's ch effectively changed the key, so he goes to B flat. Windows echo your reflection, F. When I look in their direction, gone C. So B flat, F, C. On the C you're doing... So that's similar riff, but it's just four C. So that's B string um, 10, 11, 10, 10, 11, 10, 8 on the B string. And that's just for that chord because we're, we've changed the key there a little bit. And then the second part of the middle eight is, when will this haunting stop? So that's B flat. Your face, it just won't leave on the F. And then he needs to get back into D, so he's ending on A. Alone. So the A brings him back into D. So it brings him back into the key for the chorus, but he's then got to go to D. So he can go into the chorus chord of G. But anyway, on the A, he has a riff. And then to D. Now the D riff is the same one from before. The A riff, the first one is. So B string, second fret, third fret, second fret. Uh, G on the fourth fret. So B, second, third, second, G, fourth, back to B on the second. And you can hammer that too. And then back into the mystic minor. Oh no, you might go back into the riff. So that's basically the whole thing. Uh, see how that goes. Any questions, just drop us an email. Riffreveal at gmail.com.